Well, this is it, the final stretch. We got three and a half miles to go. Okay, I made it to Springfield. I emptied out the truck, threw everything in the new truck. It's going into the detail bay tomorrow from to remove the seat and mount my refrigerator. They're going to be able to mount my refrigerator in that truck, so that's going to save me a ton of money. And guess where I find what I'm finally getting? Sushi, 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 sushi. Sushi with my beautiful wife. Say hi. <laughs> Say hi. <laughs> Say hi. <laughs> And I will talk to you guys later because I'm going to get my grow. Well, I didn't know what I was going to name the truck. But now that I see it, I'm naming it Little Dirty. <laughs> it's a freaking mini version of the truck I'm driving. Why is this so zoomed in? Uh, let's see. All right, guys, let's go take a look at Little Dirty. Uh, uh, let's see. Oops. Big dirty, little dirty. That's a 2019, it's brand new. No one's driven it. Oh my gosh, the road is slippery as hell. interrupted there with the yard dog but yeah this ground is slippery okay so I guess you fill the tank on this side back here oh look I can get a whole bunch of I can get a whole bunch of uh, doohickey my bobber thingies I guess they don't put those stupid little wheel covers on them anymore. But yeah, basically it's the same same truck but new and Oh, I'm gonna have to have them take this passenger seat out. Ugh. Oh great, it's got a different kind of Qualcomm. Huh, there's no bed. Different kind of inverter. Truck series. I don't know what that is. Okay, I can already see I can't mount my TV because there's no screws here. I don't think. That's going to suck. I'll have to uh, look at that closer. I need a CB opening. Otherwise, yeah, it's the exact same truck. They put some things in different places. Huh, you'd think the 2019 would be the new dash style, but I guess not. Yeah, because it's the old body style, too. Weird. All right. Oh, there's no pre-pass or any of that crap up here. I wonder what those keys are for. This hanging crap. I'm not happy about this at all, people. Well, first thing I noticed about Little Dirty is my camera's focusing on the steering wheel and not me. I don't have the spot over here. Whoops. I don't have the spot over here to set my because I used to set it on top of that right there, the Dorman tire weight system, and it used to put me right here. Well, in Little Dirty, because she's a little dirty bitch, not the big dirty bitch, they have it up there. They no longer have that uh, radar system on the dash anymore. It's actually built into the truck. This is a 2020 
Freightliner Cascadia Mini Baby. And so far, I'm putting things together and I'm like, oh man, I forgot to show my people with all this stuff. I'm going to be going over to Big Dirty here in a minute and finishing cleaning her out. She's 99.9% .9 cleaned out. But there she is. I'm getting things put away. What I couldn't believe is I got all my groceries that was in my big cabinet up in that cabinet right there. All my utensils and stuff. Plus other stuff that's not going to stay there, um, up in there. I got to pull some stuff out. I don't like it up there. And then all my clothes went into there. How the hell did I fit all that stuff? I have clothes on this truck for a month. A month. I have clothes on this truck. You can change your clothes every day for a month. Way too many clothes on this truck. Way too many clothes on this truck. I actually took some home. Um, the other day I took a couple pairs of uh, uh, Levi's home So yeah, she basically she's the same looking truck even though she's a 2020 She's the old body style and the old dash and everything I don't know if that's just the way they did the little uh, mini baby trucks But she leaks water from the windshield there and from over there not from the windshield They say it's from the cab lights at least that's what they would say on big dirty and they changed the cab light seals. They changed the windshield seals, everything. And as soon as we got rain again, Big Dirty leaked. Well, yesterday it was raining out here. She leaked like a sieve from both sides. Don't give a shit. I'm running her. I ain't losing no more money. She ain't going into the shop. Sorry. Little Dirty, you're going to leak. You're going to be a leaky bitch. So I'm, uh, oh, my big fear was, oh, man, I'm not going to have a refrigerator. My microwave. Rah, rah, rah. Well, I had them take my uh, passenger seat out. And look what we bolted to the floor right there. Can you see it? Now, I haven't, I haven't put anything away yet. Um, it's just all in bags. But there she is, my 12-volt refrigerator uh, freezer unit and my microwave. Now, check it out. You can be driving and you can grab your sodas. You can grab some broccoli out of there, throw it in the microwave run your microwave. I'm just freaking kidding guys. I'm not going to freaking drive and pull shit out of the refrigerator. I'm not retarded. I'm mentally but not retarded. Why are you commenting that I'm retarded? <clears throat> you. I know who you are. Now, some of you guys see I reply with just a smiley that goes like this. That's my way of saying, hmm, are you being mean to me or are you being funny? Because I'm not quite sure, so I'm going to give you one of... Oh, you know what? I still have this camera angle. But what I'm getting at is I think it's going to be okay. I, I, I still got to finish putting stuff away. If I can get everything somewhere um, and I can make five cents a mile more by driving this little beast and I have all my stuff. Now, the bed is four inches narrower than the old bed, which is fine. It's only one person sleeping in the bed and the, the old bed was plenty big enough. So this should be plenty big enough. I mean, we'll give it a week or two and uh, uh, revisit the situation. Um, but uh, yeah, so far I'm not so anxiety ridden as I was about doing this. Um, swap it uh, it looks like it's probably gonna work out um, by the time you get this video it's probably gonna be a few days after this has all happened see the lights are out I lost power to the refrigerator. Now, uh, let me start the truck and see if it comes back on. If it does, that generally means that the that the um, batteries are low in the truck and they're going into protection mode. The code in this truck, I'll never remember it because I don't need to because the key dance is stupid. 
it's so easy to, to figure out that I don't even need to like the old one. I had to go, it's, you know, one, five, 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 nine, eight, seven. This one is just da, 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 done. So I don't even think of the names. Let's see. Yeah, that turned it back on. Okay, so what I want to need to do is I need to go get fuel because I can't run the APU or anything. This thing is on dead ass empty. Um, dead ass empty. So, uh, we'll see how that works out. I got to move my bag off the APU. Uh, so these have a different APU in them. They, they, they call these a truck APU. He said the ones that were in the old trucks that they were using were more of a camper APU. He said these ones are a little more stout. Um, but it's like, well, don't people in campers use them more than people in trucks? But basically, after, you know, question, the guy was kind of, kind of a goofball. Goofball in a good way. As a matter of fact, let me tell you this. Everybody in the detail shop at Springfield were freaking badass bitching people. I loved them. They all had a sense of humor. Um, the two guys that actually worked on the truck. Oh, why it went to the detail shop is when I was testing everything, the bunk heater, I couldn't figure out how to turn it on. So I took it to the repair center so I could mark down that it worked. And that guy couldn't figure out how to turn it on. We couldn't find the switch for it. So he went and got <coughs> another guy. And they go, oh, yeah, this is the S-bar, da 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 <coughs> It's actually built into the knobs of the APU. The old one wasn't. It was either a digital display or a knob for the heater itself. So we turned it on and it wouldn't heat. They said, well, it needs to be reprimed. And then he noticed it was installed backwards. So I took it over, not to the detail shop, to the APU shop. Those guys were just awesome in there. They installed it right. They primed it, got it all working. I mean, just hilarious guys from everybody I met in there. They were just having a good time working, really enjoying life, um, which made me feel good, you know. I like when people enjoy life. My Qualcomm keeps bleeping, telling me to sign in. I guess i got to sign into uh, this Qualcomm. Um, but I want to sign out of my old one first, which I'll go do here in a minute. Um, so here's where, we're, you know, that's where we're at. Everything's been going good. Uh, visited with the wife for a day. My driveway was a sheet of, I mean, not my driveway, my street. It's a little street, you know, like a four mile street that goes from a main highway to a main highway. Main highway, they scraped and salted. My street, they hadn't touched. We actually tried to, I tried to come over here in the Dodge and I slid sideways down my driveway and then it straightened out. I made a left out of my driveway and the truck just, I mean, you touch the brakes and it would just start sliding towards the ditch and it was like, no. Nah. So I got it back in the driveway and when I got back into the driveway, my daughter was standing out on the porch with the keys to her car like this. Um, her, she's got a little front wheel drive car and it was scary as hell and slippery and you know, really shouldn't have done it, but they said they were going to salt that road later. So I hope my daughter called and said the road looks like it's it's melted down. So we'll see because my wife's on her way home right now and I'm scared for it because there's hills and a car that was following us. You know, I was going real slow, but I'd pick up speed and catch the hill and climb that hill, spinning all the way to the top and then cruise real slow down because as soon as you touch the brake, you'd start sliding. But there was a car behind us. Um, buy old prime trucks. Um, there was a car behind us that, uh, um, he didn't make it up the hill. I feel bad. I don't know if he spun out, went off in a ditch, or if he got halfway up and just slid back that backwards. Now, these ditches aren't going to kill you. So if you're thinking, well, why didn't you stop and do it? There's no stopping. There's nothing I can do. If I stopped, we wouldn't be going again. Um, oh, and this truck idles. Uh, anything below 30 degrees at idles. The repair shop told me, oh yeah, this uh, this truck idles at 30 degrees, or I don't know how we got involved in it, but it was funny because on one of the things when you check out the truck, it asked if it shut off after five minutes. I put it did when I checked it, but it didn't. It idled the whole time I was running the truck. I was like, cool, they forgot to do it, but it was 23 degrees out, so the truck idled. Um, but yeah, this truck's designed to idle above 30 degrees. He said that, yeah, all prime, all new prime trucks will idle above 30 degrees. And he goes, he don't know why they wouldn't turn mine on to do that because they started doing that after there was a real deep freeze a year or so ago. And uh, a lot of guys lost their batteries because they couldn't you know, run their trucks. 
Um, so that's cool. Anyways, I got to get back to work on this, guys. Dispatch keeps sending me messages. When are you leaving? Blah, 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 blah. And, you know, stuff like that. I just keep telling them I'll let you know when I'm ready. I'll be ready when I'm ready. I'm getting a 34 in. I'll have a 34 in in a couple of hours. And if it's it's been icy and everything, if it's crappy and they're going to send me north, I'll probably wait until morning to leave. I ain't going to drive in ice at night. Not in a, no, no. Not when I'm going to make a few bucks more a mile. <laughs> a few bucks more. If I made a few bucks more a mile, that'd be awesome. You know what I mean? A few bucks more a week. Um... I'm not going to start out by wrecking a truck, you know, uh, I want to, I want to give this the best. I want to, I want to, uh, um, you know, make the best of this. This, this is, this is pretty cool. I'm excited now because I'm able, I'm fitting so much stuff in here. The only thing I had my wife take home with her was a big duffel bag I had that I used to take things uh, from Prime on the plane home with me when I first came to Prime and when I first went back to upgrade. And it's like, well, why is it in the truck now? I don't need it. I mean, I, you know, I drive right here. Everything's right here. Anyways, I'm going to let you guys go. Like, comment, subscribe, ring that bell. Hit me up on Instagram. I'm going to have to learn how to put that in the link. I'm not sure how to do that or even on the screen or some nonsense like that. But it's, um, uh, damn it, I can't think of my Instagram name right now. But uh, I'll have to look and let you guys know. But anyways, boink, 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 what the hell? Uh, okay, what we're doing is Little Dirty needs to run and uh, need to have the APU run to charge batteries on it, but the APU keeps shutting off and giving an error code, and I'm thinking it's probably because the truck's out of fuel. I mean, it's on empty, lights on. It's a done deal. So I'm taking it over to the, um, I'm taking it over to the uh, uh, outbound and I'm gonna see if they'll give me some fuel. Let's see if they give me any kind of lip about not being on a load. Um, technically, they should give me 25 gallons, no questions asked. But uh, the inside of the truck is a freaking mess. There's crap piled all the way up on my windshield. I want to see if they say. <laughs> I mean, look, there's, you can't see halfway out the windshield. I want to see if they say anything about that. If they're like, hey, you ain't leaving this place, you damn pig. Oh, man, there's a long ass line to get out. As a matter of fact, that truck taking those old prom trucks out of here, he passed me like 20 minutes ago, if not longer going to outbound oh man this is why i didn't get fuel yesterday i went to go and outbound and it was taken forever i finally gave up what the hell look at the line here look at the freaking line here i know exactly where i'm gonna go i'm going where these where he's going yeah this is nuts though man yeah i'm gonna follow the bobtail because He's probably just a, a lease guy going out for real quick, so they'll let him go right through. The other guy is some kind of a transport that brings in new trucks and takes old trucks. So, uh, hopefully he's not getting fuel or anything. Oh, uh, he's getting out, though. Damn it. That's the new Qualcomm that's in this truck. I assume I'll just be able to figure it out and it shouldn't be too too big of a deal. But not what, uh, please log in driver, I'm gonna log in right now. Right now I'm logging in. Okay, here we go. See what they say. <laughs> Getting the truck number right now. He's gonna be like, dude, you ain't going nowhere, Lodge.
Pull it up. I need fuel. You're not under a load. Well, what do you mean I'm not under a load? Are you kidding blah, me? Of course blah, I'm under a load. Blah. Let's go, Lola. I just, I'm going back. I'm swapping trucks. I give you 50 gallons. Yeah, I know. Your company, right? Yeah, I don't care how many gallons. Just enough so I can run it. I mean, it's out of fuel. It, I'm not, I'm going right back in. My guy's. wasn't gonna get away with that. He's like, I got, you ain't on our load. Yeah, well, I need fuel. Okay, I'll give you 50 gallons. Usually they only give you 25 gallons. Like, I don't care, I just need fuel. Okay, you can't leave the lot. I'm not leaving. In the shop, trying to get out of here. APU's not working. Just faking the engine right now. The fan's not working. Yes. Well, I'm almost done putting stuff away. Things are coming together good. <clears throat> All my food. Some goodies. Uh, and... All my clothes fit in there. I have way too much clothes, though, as you guys heard earlier in this video. But I've got to, uh, I got to finish putting my bed together. I got all my trash bags hanging there. I got to put my carpet down here once I get this all taken care of, and I can start taking my shoes off here because then this won't have shoes on it once I clean it up. But. Um, all my cleaning supplies are in there. I gotta find a place for my Xbox still. <sighs> Got the microwave action going there. Refrigerator action going there. Now, I'm gonna have to plug it in somewhere else. The, uh, it keeps triggering the safety, I guess. Um, because the APU's not running to charge the damn batteries. And, um... It's going to just cause it over here, so we'll just leave that closed. It should stay cold enough. But I'm in the I'm in the APU shop. This is where I'm sleeping tonight because the guys here, they can't fix the uh, APU. The fan's out on it. Brand spanking new. Fan's not working, but these guys are only, like, installers. So I got to wait for 4.30 in the morning for... 4.30 in the morning for them to come in. Uh, a new call call comes kind of neat. 4.30 in the morning for him to come in and uh, take care of uh, take care of it. Yeah, this is like a sleeper on a super truck. There's my TV. I have like my TV plugged in. I gotta get a I gotta get a, a chair caddy though. Oh yeah, that's plugged in. I gotta get a chair caddy. So. Um, so I can put my remotes, so I can, you know, hanging off the back of my chair right here, and I can put my remotes and, you know, things that normally sat on the counter. But I'm actually finding a place for everything in this truck. Um, I'm utilizing the storage up there more than I did in my old truck. Um, but yeah, I'm finding, I'm finding a space for everything. You know, all my pillows, four or five pillows, I can't remember what I have, but it actually might work out okay. Um, this truck, it's got the swing curtains there that come behind, uh, or at the seats, which I'll probably never use just because, you know, it, it doesn't give you any room. You can't stand up to change or anything. So what I'll be using from now on is these curtains that uh, I haven't tried these yet. So I guess they I guess they go like that. Okay, that's cool. So they just go around that way, and then the other one goes around the other way, and 
boom, you can change and do what you want right here. Gives you more space. <clears throat> One problem that I'm gonna have to fix is on my old truck on the uh, on the um, condo is when you turn your air conditioner on from the APU, air comes out of this vent right here, and also up the top there on the lightweight, those are only vented to the dash. So if I was idling the truck and running the AC, air would come through there. So the air conditioning air is only going to come out down at the bottom there like it did on the condo. It would blow out at the bottom and it would blow it out on that vent. So talking to the guys. Man, I don't have nothing to put my thing on. Talking to the guys. They said, <laughs> yeah, I still shut the video off. But yeah, talking to the guys, they said that that vent down there will blow enough air out, you know, in the uh, lightweight to, to cool the whole area, not like the condo. He said the condo is so big that, yeah, if you didn't have that vent blowing right on you, it sometimes it just didn't work. But what I'm going to do, because I like air blowing on me, is I'm going to get a 12-volt fan um, that you'll, you know, you see sitting on mounted, <laughs> hanging, blowing. I'll get one of those and plug it into the cigarette a lighter adapter and stick stick it on a microwave or something in, on hot days blowing on me or hang it from the roof or whatever so i actually have that cold air blowing um maybe from maybe even you know from uh yeah the microwave because if it cools this area then it'll blow it in on me but anyways i got a lot of editing to do this has been a long trip this is this might be a long video so hopefully it keeps people's attention but i want to finish putting my stuff together putting my stuff away first and Maybe I'll get some editing done. If not, because I got to get up at 4:30 in the morning, so I got to get some sleep because I'm gonna have to drive. Man, I'm like some kind of a dumbass. My hat sideways. My <laughs> freaking frack. <laughs> the hell. All right, guys. Like, comment. No, this. Man, eh, man. Like, comment, subscribe, ring the bell. I don't know if this is gonna be the end of the video or not. Boink, 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 boink.